Hey, what up, guys? It's Fish here, and we are back with uh, a new start to a, a Hearts of Iron Let's Play. So, yeah, in my Who Should I Play video, uh, the majority of you said the Ottoman Empire. There was like one post with like 22 likes, and another with 8 likes. And just, I think the majority of people wanted me to play the Ottoman Empire because it's something different. Um, I'm sure not many people have done it, if any people have done it on YouTube. Um, and it is a really, really interesting Let's Play. Because um, I've actually used, oh, well, I've played as Italy whilst my friends played as the Ottomans, and that is a really, really uh, different let's play. Uh, there's a few things that you guys should know. Um, one, the Ottomans have a little choice in a lot of events. Uh, they are forced to join uh, the the uh, whatever it, what are they called the the Axie powers, the Central powers. You yeah, have the Central powers. They're forced to join that. They have no, they have no choice in the matter. Which I'm cool with. I'm okay with joining them. That's really the plan. I also lose the Balkan War, even if I'm winning the Balkan War. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm forced to just give up all my land. Maybe. I can't quite remember. I, I'm pretty sure I, I don't gain any land, or I'm forced to give it up anyway, and I just lose land. Um. Even if I'm winning the war, which is uh, a little bit gay, uh, but it was something. I'm, I think I'm pretty sure it's something we can just deal with as we push through. So yeah, we're going to be playing as uh, the Ottoman Empire, which I'm excited about. I have never played them before, but I've played alongside them whilst the friends played the Ottoman Empire, so I sort of know what they're capable of. Um, we also get an event with the Italians, but the Italians try and take our land um, down. That's not one to click on. But the Italians try and take this. Um, which uh, I am planning to defend and then invade Italy. Because if I can invade Italy and hopefully try and take maybe Sicily from them or something, that'll be a really, really nice uh, a nice attack front for when um, for when they either join the Allies or I just declare war on them anyway. Because I think last time... Oh, also, uh, I've installed the new hotfix, which... Um, Speak of the devil. Uh, when me and Diplex were playing our our campaign as Germany and Austria, uh, we didn't have any leaders. Like the leader thing just wouldn't come up, and they've hot fixed that now, so that uh, Austria and Germany should get leaders, which will hopefully in this campaign make them a lot more a lot more viable, a lot stronger. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to hold off, uh, or maybe even push back the Russians, and yeah, they should do a lot better. Uh, at beating back the French and the Russians, hopefully, at least. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, because they should do a lot better, because they actually have leaders, unlike me and Diplex. Um, but yeah, so the, it, I'm not sure when it is, but the Italians pretty soon try and invade uh, this bit of land down here, which we're going to obviously uh, defend with our lives. Uh, we also, um, I'm planning to hopefully make a front with the British here, um, and then obviously when World War One does happen, we're going to try and take Egypt, uh, I think that'd be a nice, uh, nice uh, plan and uh, take up just all this land, all Egypt, and all down here. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, yeah, take this out, take out uh, Nejai and Oman down here. I think that'd be cool. And then obviously fight back uh, the Russians over here. I'm gonna try and get Persia on my side, hopefully, because I don't really want to fight along this entire border. I think that's gonna be a bit annoying. And obviously we're gonna be fighting back the Russians as well. Um, and that should be a nice job. And also, we're going to be fighting in the Balkans, trying to claim back some of this, well, trying to claim this land. I guess you can say claim back. This all used to be ours uh, back in the day, uh, but no longer is ours. So, yeah, let's look at what we start off with. We, we start off with a, a decent amount of resources and everything, which is nice. Uh, a decent amount of IC. I was not not expecting that much IC. Uh, that is pretty good. And it will change when we actually change our laws. Uh, yeah, we get mixed industry, so that will actually give us a bit more uh, IC, which will be really nice. Let's see, what troops can we get? We can get some Genissaries, which I assume are my elite troops. They have four soft attack, or four defense attack. They have four defense, two toughness, air defense. They're pretty good. They don't have any soft attack or hard attack. They don't have any hard attack. They have two soft attack and some piercing attack. What do normal infantry have? They have a... They're better than... Oh, no. I need to get rid of all this. There you go. They're, they're a bit better. No, they're exactly the same. Maybe they get... I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same anyway. Or does that just all double? Uh, I don't know. I can't bother to look. But yeah, basically, they're reasonably good. I'm sure they get better later on. 
they go, oh, I'm just misreading it. Let's see, technology-wise, we have 18 leadership, which is pretty nice. Um, Research-wise, we already start from mountain, that's quite nice. These are really low, though. Uh, well, we're not really low, they're what they should be, that's quite nice. Uh, yeah, that's all cool. Just looking, we're really, really low on land doctrine. We need to buy up all this shit. Yeah, this is awful. We need to um, start researching this straight away. Because yeah, we need to we, yeah we need to research all this straight away because this is really like this is really vi vital because um, it just gives you so many good stats. I mean, the delayed doctrine is just really good. It gives you artillery like more morale, and it's just yeah really really good. So that, <laughs> this is going to be the majority of our research at the beginning, I think. Elastic defense, I mean that's really good. Tactical withdrawal, uh, everything. It's just really, really good. Elastic defense, backhand blow. It's all really good. Attack movement, 2%. Breakthrough, plus 5%. Like, these are all really, really good technologies to grab up. So, yeah, we're going to be about a fast 11. I mean, obviously, we're going to be going uh, small, light. We'll get all of these because it just overall improves all our... Over... What did something just pop? I swear I heard something just go... Whoosh! Apparently, oh, maybe it's just, it's that sound, but I didn't click on anything. But yeah, so that's going to be our technology for now, at least. Uh, oh, we also need to go on industry and try and grab up education and agriculture. Uh, first aid and combat medicine can wait. Uh, we'll also grab up these two, they're always really important. And I really want to get these, because they're also always so good. Um... Yeah, so we're not going to be obviously researching all of them straight away. We're going to leave a few of them. We're going to be we're going to increase this by a little bit because I want to have education and agriculture. Uh, so let's increase that to seventeen. Seventeen, yeah, seventeen. That's cool with me. Let's go ahead and just stick back down to seventeen. Uh, it doesn't really not doesn't really give me much. Diplomacy. We don't need officers at the moment, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tell that to stop. That's gonna go down. We don't really need officers at the moment, uh, at least for the meantime. Because I know, obviously, I have a war with Italy to prepare for, but until then, like, it's, it's at least a year away. I think it's a year away. Leave, leave in the comments if you know. Um, diplomacy, I don't really need. So espionage, we're just gonna be getting up just so we have a load of spies. Um, we're going to stick that and we're going to be raising national unity. Uh, we'll have one in uh, counter espionage as well, just in case people are spying on us. Uh, partisans efficiency, that's if we get taken, which is cool. Fucking hell, look at Germany's IC. Ah, oh, the beautiful, beautiful German war machine. So yeah, this is the world at the moment. Uh, many of you said that you'd like to, uh, like to see the world every so often. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you the world as it starts and then I'll show you it again in a little bit. China is still so big that it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's look at what do we have army wise. Let's just select everything. Well, that did not work. Uh, we have about like, 21 land units, and yeah, we have yes, yeah, pretty much everyone. I know I have. That's not actually that bad. I mean, I've got garrison troops, which obviously isn't very good. All imports, and I've just got one unit over here. So I've got a core, uh, a core. Um, over here, many of you people get so annoyed when I say corpses. It's just it's just the way I the way I like saying. I will try my best though to be saying cores from now on. Uh, just to, yeah, I will try my best. That's oh, some beautiful music going on in the background. I was just taking a second to take it all. On. We have a decent army over here. Where even is this? Um, okay, that's cool. We have what have seven units there. All two two. That's not that bad. Uh, so we have 10 units over there, then we have one unit there, one unit there, two over there. And these are all really good uh, units. Like, if you look at it, I think it's like these ones here, yeah, they actually have five units in, which is pretty impressive. So, yeah, we have we have a decent military. It's not, not a poor military, which is nice. Uh, diplomacy, I'm going to stick on auto trade just because it's really annoying to start off with. Um, and I, I am going to be trying my best to control as much as possible. Um, like, I'm, I don't want to stick stuff on AI, because I personally find that a bit boring. Even though it might win me the battles and stuff like that, I still, I prefer to do it manually. I find it a lot more fun, um, and I learn, I become a better player through that. 
Uh, politics, yeah, we want to look at politics, don't we? Uh, what laws can we enact? Uh, specialist training, uh, yes, let's go ahead and stick on specialist training. Apparently we can't, do we not have enough money? No, we don't have enough money. Uh, which is fine. Um, what else is it? Mixed industry, do we not have enough uh, stuff to do mixed industry? Where even is it? I am blind. Is it mobilisation? No, it's not. It's industry laws, obviously. Uh, mixed industry, we don't have enough money for that either. Yeah, so that's all cool. Uh, inefficient research, anti-tank. Oh yeah, obviously tanks haven't been invented yet. That would probably uh, be why that is doing that. Our oh, music is really loud. It might not be loud for you, but it's quite loud in my headphones. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn down the music just a little bit. We don't want to turn the music all off because the music is beautiful. Um, yeah, we're just going to let our spies build up. That's good. It's raising our unity as well, which is really, really low. Which is understandable because we're such a vast empire with so many different cultures. Uh, which is cool. So production, what do we want to produce? Let's quickly go ahead and get some infantry just because we can... Uh, what, what's, what do you think would be a good mix? I don't really have that much. I don't really want to be defending too much. I know uh, infantry mixed with artillery is really good for... Uh, good for defending ballers so I might get a few of that later on but I might just get five units of infantry I mean four four brigades uh, of infantry because if I get artillery in there it will slow it down a lot and I don't really want that to uh, be the case I'm gonna go ahead and just get just get a, a core yeah I'm saying core that's how good I am um, that's gonna can go down that can go down uh, production needs to be that, which is fine. Consumer goods needs to be on that. They need to be on that. So we can't quite produce all that, which is fine. But we can produce. It will all It will all get done eventually. So yeah, I think we can start playing, which is cool. And I'm, what I'm going to be doing... Oh no, I need to look at my navy. Do I even have a navy? I do. He has eight ships in it. And I actually get um, generals for once. So yeah, look at that. That's going to be so useful. <laughs> actually having leaders, because as I said, uh, me and Diplex did not get that pleasure, and the AI did. A uh, Seawolf, submarine attack, blockade runner, yeah, he's a, he's a good general, we're just going to promote him a bit, and he'll be able to handle that many troops. Um, so yeah, I, don't, I have a decent army, I have, I mean, a decent, decent navy. Do I have any transport troops? That's what I'm looking for. I have some light cruisers, so I don't actually have any transports. So I'm probably going to need to get some if I want to invade Italy. Uh, I might go, go go ahead and get Sardinia as well. So yeah, we are playing our first turn. That took a long time. I'm not even sure how long I've been recording for. I should probably double check that because I need to get back to revising. But I just I'm procrastinate pro procrastinating right now. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna go ahead and spread spread out. Uh, before yeah, let's go ahead and split these guys up into cores already. So let's go ahead and just get five people over here. I've already sent five, that's four, I'm pretty sure. Uh, four, five, yeah? Yeah, that's five, so I've got five going over there. They can chill in that city. Because I need to really fill out this entire border, because as soon as the Balkans happen, the Balkan Wars happen, I'm going to have to be able to defend that and sort that out. Like, I'm going to have to push back all these countries, even though I'm pretty sure I lose anyway, no matter what. I'm just forced into losing all this land, I think, anyway. I'm also going to have to descend. No, why have my why is my IC gone down so much? I'm not quite sure why. I need to be up a little bit. I need to keep up with supplies. I want to keep on regaining as much supplies as possible. Uh, yeah, so that's all cool. Um, yeah, so um, what I'm going to do with Greece, I'm just going to put a few men along the border on Greece. I don't really want to... I'm not going to be able to take this because it's all mountainous and got land forts. Maybe it doesn't have land forts in. But it's, it's really hard to take Greece. They just have so many mountains and they get such a nice advantage. So I just need to really cover this entire border. Um, I'm going to really give up this bit of land here and just try and take out uh, Montenegro straight away because they're such a small country. If I can take that out, then I can just hopefully push into the flanks of uh, Serbia and Bulgaria, and then obviously Romania as well, um, and just defend off against Greece, I think that would be a good idea. 
Uh, so yeah, they're ready there. For the moment, I'm not gonna bother uh, sticking up, like organizing the army, because it's just gonna take a long, long time to do that. Uh, we can go ahead and stick these dudes over here, though. Uh, they can start uh, forming up as well, though. This will be our power powerhouse over here. I feel like uh, everyone else I can really just chill. They're doing fine. We've got two units over there. We got a unit over here. Is that Jerusalem? Maybe. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Me and Diplex couldn't find uh, Jerusalem. There's Damascus. I swear Jerusalem's like here. I'll, it's one of these. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's called something different. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is. I'm s Jerusalem. There you go. There. What does this mean? Is this trade or what? Well, it says Jerusalem. I guess it's maybe it's in here. Oh, there it is. There's Jerusalem. There it is, me and Diplex were having such like hard time struggling. Oh, I guess that's uh, the, like a province system, like this controls the supplies to these or something like that. Which I, I feel like that's what Rome 2 is going to implement, um, which is going to be pretty good. Our manpower is not the best in the world, but I'm sure that'll be able to, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll speed up, obviously. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing there. Yeah, there you go. It's five speed, that should be a lot nicer now. Uh, should get through a lot of times. Uh, laws, that's cool. I need to, I still don't know when the Italians declare war on me, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, where even am I on here? Where am I? Um, there I am. I actually start off pretty high up to the, uh, to the central, to the, uh, allies, the intent. But not really high up, so... Oh yeah, interesting fact. After the Second World War... Maybe it's the Second second or First World War. Uh, the Ottomans actually held off uh, a war against the British, uh, Americans and French. Um, I can't remember why. I think it was probably something to do with communism. Everyone started hating communism after the Second World War. And um, they actually tried to uh, fight the Ottomans. And I guess because they didn't, they didn't really put their full full po uh, power into it um they lost and the ottomans actually beat back uh, the three like major powers in the world um it probably, probably had help from the russians but they held them uh they held them along here um along these like places over here and the british just didn't do it i guess the people back home as well didn't want another war just to throw away their lives so uh people they backed out but uh, yeah it was just an interesting fact that they lost that war uh, money is going up lovely. It means we can enact several laws now. It means we can go ahead and stick on specialist training. Which cost me a lot of money. I'm not sure if I should have done that. Because it's 100. Well, it's not that bad. We're, we're gaining... How much are we getting? A, we're getting 13. That's pretty good. Uh, mixed industry... I mean... That's not what I want to do. I want to go... Mixed industry, don't I? Oh no. Wrong one again. There we go. Uh, that reduces my IC, IC efficiency, but it decreases my daily descent and gives gives me a lot more money. For now, we're gonna go ahead and just keep that because it's giving me a lot of money. Uh, everyone is influencing me, but it doesn't really matter because I go to the axes no matter what. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'd love if I went into the central powers. That'd be no. The axes are the central powers. If I went into the triple entente, that'd be interesting indeed. Uh, so yeah, these guys are just they're taking forever to get back up to fully mobilised strength. Maybe it's because, yeah, they're reserved, so that's why. Their organisation is actually really high, which is kind of cool. But is that not... Have I put too many men in here then? No, that's five. I only have three units here anyway, which is kind of sad. That is sad times indeed. But at least my infantry is building 10th of October. They're building pretty quickly. I should have probably built them as reserves. But it doesn't really matter. We have eight free spies as well, which is kind of cool. And that's probably with our place here. We have ten active domestic spies, which are increasing our unity. It's going up by 1.12 a day, maybe. Is that going up? Or a month, maybe, that is. They're still going up by a, a really large amount, which is nice. Uh, having high unity will allow me to do a lot of shit, uh, which is cool. Um, I want to probably stick all my spies into Italy just to see their strength, uh, organisation of the American state. 
the name of the organization was changed to the Union of American Republic and or Republic. Yeah, that's all cool. It's the same thing. Oh, also, uh, the British uh, gave South Africa their independence, which was kind of cute. All the way down here. There, that's Portugal. I swear South Africa is here. There it is, yeah. <laughs> that was really bad geography there. Uh, we are trading with Italy. We don't want to be doing that. Italy are scum. We do not want to be doing that at all. That's our major headquarters. Yeah, so let's look how many theatres do we actually have. Is this our only, like major HQ by the looks of it it is and it has a lot of troops yeah if I do that if I open oh we have a Tripoli one which I guess is over here yeah there's my Tripoli one which is cool that has five units in it this is a lot of units which I need to set up into cores and give it the, the appropriate um, arm in the army structure but yeah I was pretty impressed by our navy it's it's pretty strong if I don't, if I do say so myself, yeah, I was, I was pretty impressed by that. I didn't realise I had such a strong navy, but apparently I do. I might go up into Troy. I'm pretty sure Troy was around here. One of these cities along here, Troy was. I might go capture Troy and uh, go ahead and just uh, chill there for a while. So, uh, yeah, we just got agriculture. We can get rid of that now. That should reduce our inefficient research. We're getting loads and loads of resources, which I'm really happy with. Uh, these guys are built on the 10th of October. I'm going to stick these guys straight away uh, in our... Um, over here in Libya. Libya? This is Libya, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Libya. It will say, won't it, if I go on theatres. Oh, Tripoli. Tripoli. It looks like Libya. Maybe. Maybe it is part of Libya. But yeah, this is my Tripoli um, headquarters. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick this core straight away here. Uh, just to defend my borders from the Italians when they do attack. Uh, and if we can repulse their attacks, then it will leave... Uh, the longer we hold off, the better our military will get. And also, I'm pretty sure uh, they get an event which stops us um, from fighting. Which is kind of nice if we can... Well, if we keep this land, that's going to be a bonus. Because having extra land, it will obviously always give me better IC. Um, so that's all good. Portugal, the revolution. Portugal have a revolution. How cute. Uh, light artillery advances. Let's go ahead and get rid of these things now. That's all my inefficient research gone, surely. IC wastage. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, we go ahead and stick that down. We'll go ahead and get all our, all of that, and we'll get all of our reinforcements. This is going to hurt our manpower quite a bit, and obviously we need our consumer goods up. That's all good. Yeah, so everything's where it should be. Hold on. Yeah, that's cool. That'll go down anyway eventually. So that's all good. We need to probably start getting a few officers as well. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them for now, actually, just until the last unit is built. Uh, reinforcements, that's hurt my manpower a little bit, though. That's February the 11th, that's, that's quite a way away. We need to be a little bit worried. Oh, we're wasting IC, what are we wasting IC on? Reinforcements, that's gone down really, really quickly. Uh, production, let's just boost up my supplies. If I get, I've already got a load of supplies, which is really nice, a load of fucking money as well. Uh, that's insane. I should probably be building more infantry because infantry is going to go a long way. And it's a lot quicker. Uh, I might get a bit of cav as well just to go around my land. Um, because, yeah, as you can see, everyone's already massing up their borders. And I don't have to worry about the Russian border or the British border for a long time. Um, well, not a long time, for a couple of years at least. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, they're organising it again, apparently. I mean, these units, I can send one core just to defend the Greek place and then one to defend how many places is this? There's a few more than I think I should need. Yeah, there's quite a few places here, but I can send like one core to defend the Bulgarian border, one to Serbian, and one to take out uh, the Montenegros. More inefficient research, industry, at school. It just means that all this research is getting done, which is nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll, I'm going to change uh, to mixed industry now as well. Because, 
yeah, let's go mixed industry. I'm getting so much money now. That's good. Uh, that won't really hurt me that much. I'm getting seven from down from 13, but it just gives me a lot more IC. It gives me 11 more IC. So overall, uh, that was a good move. What? Why won't I normally? I swear, normally when you click it, it pops up production, but apparently not. So that can go down. Training can go down. Supplies can keep on going up. A consumer goods that hurt me consumer goods wise a lot. Yeah, that fucking that was annoying. I lost a lot of consumer goods. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, one more division probably just for now. We can just about cope with that. Actually, we'll probably be able to squeeze out one more. <laughs> squeeze out. Uh, we'll probably be able to get out one more infantry. Try it. Can we? Can we get that out? We're losing supplies, but that's gonna be fine. Yeah, as you can see, that goes down, giving me freeing up supply. So yeah, overall, we can go ahead and get out another two divisions or cores, um, which is good. Yeah, that's really good. Overall, we're getting a, a shit ton of oil, 50 a day. That's going to be really good to sell uh, when wartime does come. We, that'll give us a, that's probably why we're getting so much money. Let's have a look. Uh, what is it under? D production? Our convoys over here. We're actually just importing. Oh, we're exporting. Yeah, we're importing a load of energy. And we're still losing energy, surprisingly enough. And we're selling crude oil to Germany. But overall, we're getting a lot of money in. And we're getting a lot of fuel. I'm surprised about how much fuel we're actually getting because that's a crazy amount. Uh, that is very good because it now allows us to attack a lot quicker which is pretty good. Yeah, that is really really good. Loads of stuff just got built. Oh, that's really good. This stuff's all built before I actually go to war with the... Why well, am I in Mexico? Um, I'll click it, the go-to thing. That's all good but that's all built before I go to war with Italy. Because that just just gives me such an advantage. Well, it doesn't give me an advantage. It catches me up. Now this is all done. This is all done. And but is it, all this is going to be done. Yeah, so much shit just got done. Uh, operation level command structure is inefficient. We don't really want that. Is it that one? And we actually got a bit more research as well. We're going to go ahead and grab up education too. That's cool. Espionage. When we get to about 50 spies, I'll stop and I'll... No, I need to be doing... I need to be doing all that on major worker strikes. That's not good. Let's go ahead and pause it just so I can read it and see what shit goes down. A daily descent plus 10. I lose one unity. It's 50% chance of losing one unity. Uh, finding the rest of the strike leaders. That'll be good. That means my <laughs> this will be going up massively, which is not good. So, oh, is that all my stuff being built? Yeah, that's all my technology being done. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's see how much. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Destroys my supplies. That needs upgrades again because obviously so much stuff just got redone, uh, and that's not gonna be able to do all that. I know, but that will just go down. We're wasting stuff apparently what are we wasting oh some there you go that has freed up a load of men so yeah let's go ahead um they can still remain connected up to this i don't really think i should change it too much but these guys i can't can't even deploy that's a bit annoying oh i can't even deploy over here that is really annoying and I won't be able to walk through the British land, will I? Like, there's no way... Yeah, there's no way I can actually get through. Can I ask for... Uh, transit rights? Is that going to be impossible? That is, so that means I need to build some transports. Uh, transports... They cost a decent amount of IC. Let's go ahead and try and grab up five. That's going to obviously need that a load of IC, which is not good. And for now, I need my units to really be upgraded as much as possible. So, I, yeah, I can ignore supplies. That's, that's a fine at the moment. But, yeah, I need transports ASAP, really. And they can just, yeah, that's going to co uh, constantly go down. So, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I guess I should go ahead and just deploy... They keep on organising their state, which is a bit weird. 
Well, it's not weird at all, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and just deploy some men over here, and then these guys can just be ready to be shipped out straight away. That seems like a good, good plan. They're 2-2 two, two as well, so they're not the worst in the world. Hopefully they'll go up to 3-3 three, three pretty soon, and that's not bad infantry at all. 